Why don't you ask so Gasper your question that you always ask? About Gasperini. What do you think? Yeah. That's a, <laughs> that's a coach for that you guys. That's a real coach. Not for Juventus. Though. Not for great Juventus? Great coach. Great coach. Great coach. Why? He was able- Why not? Why not? <laughs> I'm surprised. Because he doesn't have Sarri's balls. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that you're even asking me this question. That you stooped down so low really? to ask me this question. Now, <laughs> how so? Asparini, great, great, great coach. He what, what he's been able to do to, uh, is amazing. He's scoring five goals oh, against wow. everybody. Five goals right. against uh, AC Milan, you still four don't goals un- against you guys. I, I, you scored against everybody. Against us. You guys haven't understood anything then. No, so what is it that Juventus, we don't understand? Yeah. Juventus is on autopilot. It doesn't matter who you put there. Right now, we need players. The only thing that I'm saying about Sarri is that I don't like, just like Marco said, his approach. The way he talks, the way he makes us look in front of the press. I don't care at the end of the day, okay? Do you think, I mean, to be honest with you, I've gotten criticized by a lot of people, that I say that the coach of Juventus, just like when they used to say that Allegri wasn't a great coach, that it, I used to say all the time that Allegri is not making the decisions. It's coming from up there. Oh, from and nobody, and nobody understands. You're believes. speaking his language now. I do. You're speaking no, his language. No, but this is the truth. Uh, this is the truth. That's Allegri, what I've been preaching to uh, for yeah, the last 20 years. But this is the truth. But <laughs> you guys years. <laughs> you guys 24. <laughs> Since I was four years old. I think you've been watching the podcast lately. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> so, You're speaking his language. He's gotten very old in 20 years. <laughs> Listen to this. Listen to this. Don't tell me that Gasparini is not a, uh, is not a coach for that, Juventus. But he's not a coach for Juventus. He's not a coach for Juventus. Why? Because he's too good? Why? Because he's too good? control that he does at Atalanta. Do you understand? We need we need a coach. We need a coach with a willing mentality that has they need blood a man- in they, his mouth. They need a manager. Juventus that have, doesn't need a coach. That have the you know <laughs> they just need they, they, they need the money. Co- Forget about money. <laughs> they need a coach. They need a coach that has Zidane. the taste of blood. Zidane. The taste of winning. Who's, who's this coach? In give, me, ma- give me two three names. My even Zidane. I'll take. I'll take Pepe Guardiola. Wow. Uh, I, you know who I would really like to uh, see in there? Oh. I mean, I would love to Pioli? see. Him. No. Simeone, <laughs> Simeone. Padre Pio. He couldn't even help Milan today. <laughs> Simeone, blood in the mouth. I would love to see. I would love to see Simeone as the coach of Juventus. I love his mentality. You know what? Do you know how much he makes? Oh yeah. First, first time I'm gonna see uh, what take he guys. wants. Uh, how much he makes? A yeah. year, a season. Yeah. A Is lot. it more than twelve? Yes. You're not even close. I'm far away. Yeah. yeah. Forty three. Okay, thanks. I'm talking. <laughs> 43 million dollars. He makes 20 more than Guardiola. I, don't, how is this possible? I don't know how it's possible. Yeah, I don't know. L'Equipe uh, released their, the salaries, and he's the highest paid coach how, in the world. All, is that, that what his Instagram account or something? Because no. it's impossible. Gio, <laughs> Gio would know, you, yeah. what would you, you pick still as want a coach? Hey, Gio's got a good coach. Gio. No, I mean, I mean not, not for that money, <laughs> but. <laughs> Who's your coach? The best coach in the world right now is Klopp. So I'm going to do it right now. Oh, wow. Listen, Klopp. listen, if he wins. He wins the Champions League, right? He's going to win Premier League. Dortmund, right? So, you know, I guess why not put him in Juventus? Maybe he can win the Champions League with them. Because, you know, like, he could bring, like, what he did with Liverpool to Juventus, and maybe that can change, like, how. Uh, he... He's not you a bad option at all. I actually agree. Yeah. Because he has, his team plays with a certain intensity, yeah, they do. like yeah. Simeone or Conte, and then also have a certain style. Like, they need certain uh, players too, like Guardiola so. too. So yeah, but even if you, if you look at work, the thing, the thing they they that I admire about Liverpool a lot is if you take those players individually, they're not incredible. They're not the best players they in the world at each team. position. Yeah. Besides Van Dijk and yeah. Allison, they play as a team. and you know Robertson, they're great. But as a team, he really get got a team. It took to him build. a while, but it, it did take exactly. Night. Yeah, Conte even said it. I mean, Conte he got criticized for saying that you know club didn't win in how many years it took him 4 years i think to win at liverpool and now he's going to win the premier league obviously you know what? but anyway the answer to gasper because my, yeah. my, i didn't finish to answer to him oh, you know what Guardi- you know what guardiola said about gasperini he thinks this is one of the best coach around now guardiola never, said that i never said he wasn't yeah, but why is not good enough for juventus because he's, it's not the mouthpiece of the lap dog of agnelli why the because that guy is going to demand. Yeah, did you yeah. know? He calls Nedved the lap dog. He's got to wait with words. You're going to wait with words. Listen to me. If you give the team to Gasperini, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gasperini yeah. is going to tell the lap dog and his boss, I said, <laughs> you watch the game and you let me handle the situation on the field by myself. I don't need you But to maybe that's why me. he's saying that it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. Why not? Because he's like what you just said. But it's not yes working with Sarri. Even, even when people said, "Oh, he picked the," you know, they picked up Sarri. They had the chance. They should have picked up Conte. I don't even think Conte would have been good for this Juventus. I think Conte is good for Inter right now. They have these small time players that he's that he's making them play like. 
they played together for years. It's absolutely amazing what he's doing. But with a team like Juventus, you need somebody a little bit more experienced. Now, these big names, Guardiola, Simeone, maybe they don't work. Maybe they do. I don't know. But Juventus definitely needs to sit back right now. They need to finish off the season. And that when, when the um, transfer window opens up, they need to make some serious purchases.